With this video, we start the study of trigonometry. Some of you probably have already learned about trigonometry before. For most people, the first lesson in trigonometry is using a right triangle, since trigonometry was originated to describe the sides relation in a triangle. And today, it is still most widely used this way, although it has many more other important applications in math, science, and engineering. Here we have a right triangle, and one of these two acute angles is called theta. We know that the longest side of the right triangle is called the hypotenuse, and among the other two sides, the one that is next to angle theta is called adjacent side, and the side that is opposite to angle theta is called the opposite side. Now we are ready to define the six trigonometric functions for angle theta. Based on this right triangle, sine theta equals to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse side. Cosine theta equals to the length of the adjacent side divided by the length of the hypotenuse side. And tangent theta equals to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. And as you can see, tangent theta also equals to sine theta divided by cosine theta. And we can define the other three based on the reciprocals of these three. Cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta, which equals to 1 over sine theta. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine theta. And lastly, cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tangent theta. Let's look at this example. For this given right triangle, we know the length of two sides, A and B, and we need to determine the six trigonometric functions for this angle theta. Based on the definition that I introduced earlier, in order to find all six trigonometric functions, we need to know the length of the hypotenuse side as well. And since this is the right triangle, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem that a squared e plus b squared equals to c squared. And based on this, we can solve for c to be square root of 13. And now we're ready to write the six trigonometric functions. First, sine theta is defined as the length of the opposite side over the length of the hypotenuse side. Therefore, it is 2 over square root of 13, rearranged to be 2 times square root of 13 over 13. Cosine theta is defined as the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. Therefore, it is 3 over square root of 13, and that equals to 3 times square root of 13 over 13. Tangent theta is defined as the length of the opposite side over the length of the adjacent side. In this case, simply 2 over 3. Cosecant theta is the reciprocal of sine theta. Therefore, we take the value we already calculated for sine theta, and then we find the reciprocal, and that is the square root of 13 over 2. Secant theta is the reciprocal of cosine theta. Therefore, that equals to square root of 13 over 3. And lastly, cotangent theta is the reciprocal of tangent theta. Therefore, cotangent theta is 1 over tangent theta. In this case, it's 3 over 2. And that completes this problem. Let's look at this example. For this right triangle, we do know the length of the hypotenuse side to be 2, and we also know the angle 30 degree, and we need to determine the length of the two sides A and B. So using a calculator, we can find out that sine 30 degree equals to 0 0.5. And since, by definition, sine theta equals to the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse side. In this case, the opposite side is B, and the hypotenuse side is C, which is 2, and B over 2 equals to 0 0.5. So from here, we can solve for B to be 1. And then, in order to determine A, 
we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem again. And from here, we can calculate a to be square root of 3. At this point, you probably have noticed that although the right triangle definition for trigonometry is very easy to understand, it can only be used for acute angles, in other words, angles that are between 0 and 90 degrees. This is because any other angle cannot be represented using a right triangle. But we do wish to have a more general definition, and we're going to do that in the following videos.